All right, G, don't fuck around. No All right, man. so 908 Big Smoke, the beer review finally has a special guest. I've been talking about getting a guest on here for literally like probably about six months. So I don't know if you want to use an alias or use your real name, whatever you want to do. But this is my homie. I'm Luke. <laughs> is that a real name or not? We won't know. Uh, what do you call it? So today we got a beer review. Finally going to do a duo review here. For Raise the Angels, what is this, Double India Pale Ale with Grapefruit Zest from 18th Street Brewing. So there's a little up close of it right there. Pretty cool looking cover. Oh, this looks pretty cool. I always like the Double India Pale Ales too. Grapefruit looks fucking bomb. Uh, it doesn't really look like there's a lot of information on here. Like I think there's a canned on date on the bottom, but yeah, canned on 1419. But there's like no ABV on this. I was looking around for it before. Literally, I couldn't find it. I don't know. Yeah. There's nothing. I couldn't find shit on there. So there's literally no ABV on here. Uh, don't know what it is. I'll probably just look it up during the review and try and see if I could find it online. But uh, that's kind of ridiculous yeah. because how are you I supposed know, to know if it's random. like it could be like 15% or something and you drink one of them and then you're just fucked. So I guess we'll find that out. Advertising. Yeah, literally. But um, I've never had anything from this brewery before. Have you? I've never seen anything from this. Never. So we'll try it out right now. Um, it's going to get like a point down for no ABV for sure on here. Let's see here. It is pouring up really nice though. Looks good. Real nice. Super Real nice. nice. Yeah. I can smell it from here. Yeah, I can too. Damn, yeah, the head on that's really nice. I'm just using these like plastic cups just because we're splitting it, but that's not too strong smelling like up front actually. But mm -hmm. could smell it when I cracked it a little bit, but I definitely get the grapefruit in there. Doesn't seem like there's the ABV seems low, like based on the smell, to be honest. But yeah, let's try it out. Oh my god. Well, actually, that's made fancy. Yeah, that's really good, actually. Really strong fruity taste. Like, really, wow. Super grapefruit taste in this one. Yeah, that's actually way better than I thought. I, I really wonder what the ABV is, though. Yeah. It doesn't really it's, it's taste just, like it's that strong. Right. Maybe like for a seven. double. I mean. That's a good question. Let's, let's find that. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I haven't seen a beer like that in a long time with no ABV like that. It's kind of ridiculous. I mean, maybe it's just like hidden. They do sometimes they do stupid shit like that where they'll hide it. But yeah, that would have to be some really uh, you're a really good hiding spot because I can't see in the skeletons there. Or something. Yeah, really crazy cover. Yeah, it doesn't. I can't get anything. The, the can art is really cool though. Once again, but I don't see anything any ABV on here. Hmm. 7.7 7.7 ABV Shit Yep Alright well It doesn't taste like 7.7 7, That's for sure Very good Very light It is light It doesn't have like A crazy like sour taste Or like a super like zesty taste But it's definitely there And it's definitely like Very enjoyable It's not too strong Yeah Easy Four pack I can drink that Yeah like, but you I definitely would. could. It's 7.7. .7, I mean, like, it's not really super strong for a double. Usually it's like over eight normally. But uh, this one, it makes up for it for the flavor for sure. Not super strong on the fruit, but like really, really smooth and definitely got some hops in there too. It's a little bit bitter, but really not too much at all. Mm. I don't know. It's How pretty good. How are those on price? These, the price on these was, I think, 13 I think $13 even, like $12.50 or $12.75 plus tax. For a four pack of these that's actually pretty good it's not that bad now for a double for that percent these are actually pretty decent and they're like a summer beer I would it's definitely them yeah like, as an ipa which is for sure i think the guy feeling. who i was talking to the guy that owned the shop said that he got these like either today or, or the day before or something like that so uh he said they're they're really good so i told you know, trust them, give them a try. But um, yeah, yeah, definitely pretty good. I'd probably get these again in the springtime. That's definitely nice for the weather warming up yeah, for sure. Right. Like, guys, I apologize if there's any noise going on. My cat's running around as usual down here. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> really 
Yeah, she's making a total ruckus right now. I'm surprised she's probably going to jump up on the table or something at some point here. Yeah. But I thought I'd come to you guys with a quick review first, like do a review. So for this, I mean, it's going to get some points down for no AVB on the fucking can because no that's just, information there's literally no information. That, that's kind of ridiculous. I mean, the bottled on date is there. But, and um, the government warning. Yeah, and the government warning and like the website or whatever. But there, there's nothing, no description really. Now, I know I always give a lot of these beers shits for like writing stupid. I hate when people they write like stupid poetry and shit on the back of them. And it's just like you can't I even want really. information. Yeah, I want the information about the beer. The last beer I reviewed, that Modern Times beer, had it was perfect. It just said the hops, you know, the uh, malts that might have been used and basically like a light description, like two sentences. Nothing crazy. But this has absolutely nothing at all. So all it's literally all it says on here is double India pale ale with grapefruit zest added. That's it. Other than that, it's just basic information. No ABV whatsoever, which is pretty crazy. And these guys are out of Indiana. Guys, I forgot to say that. Hammond, Indiana. I don't even know if we have very many beers from Indiana at all, if any, but at least not that I've reviewed on here. Certainly not that I can remember. <laughs> yeah, not that I can remember, at least for sure. But um, I think apologies, uh, people from Indiana. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. <laughs> I don't know anybody from Indiana. So. Me either, and I'm, I don't even really know where it's located on the map. To be honest with you, it's <laughs> somewhere near, but it's in the United States. But um, for a rating on this, I don't know what would you give it. I think it's probably like a mid B for me. Like I'd I would say, like eighty four. I was gonna say like an eighty two. Yeah. yeah, I just I wouldn't drink them all the time. No. Nah. But for it's the springtime coming up, pretty decent beer, though, I would yeah. say. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go, I'd say, I'm going to go 83. I'll knock mine one lower because I thought you were going to go a little bit higher. So we're going to do 82 or 83. So average ratings, uh, 82.5, basically, on this one. But, uh, yeah, so I think it was pretty good. Uh, decent. Just wish there was a little more info on there about it uh, so I could know what I'm actually drinking and stuff like that. But not bad. Um Maybe they were, you know, listening to what I always say about the description that just didn't didn't write anything on it, like absolutely nothing. <laughs> just get a blank can. But uh, thanks for checking this one out, guys. If you guys like the duo reviews, I'll do some more of them and try and get some other people involved because, I don't know, I always like reviewing beers. We always talk There's about beer regardless. So thanks for checking it out, guys. And, yeah, we'll give this one an 82.5 uh, together out of 100. So uh, have a good night, guys. Thank you.